Hey, what's up? It's the Ikus. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be asking the question, what is up with Leo? And if you don't know, Leo is a sign that rules over the sun and the sun's like a, the basic, um, you know, foundation of your personality in astrology. It's uh, probably, the only, probably the only thing uh, most people know about astrology, to be honest. It is what is being said in the magazines. You know, that, that is your sun sign, okay? Leo rules over that. Also, they rule over the fifth house, which has to do with creativity, hobbies, and what else? Marriage, not, not marriage, but like children and summer love, honestly. Um, marriage might be it, but, you know, that's more of Libra's realm, to be honest, because Libra, like, has to deal with people, you know. Leo is just like romantic interest, you know, you meet someone on summer vacation, you chill with them for a few weeks and you're like, damn son. You know, that is basically what Leo is, okay? Um, that is the Leo kind of romance we're talking about. But yeah, that is all what Leo represents basically. And they're, you know, fire fixed. They, one of their, um, what's it? stereotypes is that they're stubborn because of that fixed energy. Um, when it comes to the fixed signs, they they are pretty stubborn and I think they're pretty, you know, individualistic to be honest. I don't I don't think any of the fixed signs um, you know, are similar to each other. As in like, you know, the mutable signs, um, Sagittarius and Pisces, you know, even though they're square, they're pretty, you know, they have a solid ground with each other. And Gemini and Virgo also do. And with the cardinal signs, Aries and Capricorn have a lot in common, and Cancer and Libra do. So with that being said, honestly, the fixed signs do not have that um, setup with them. They're just all doing their own thing. And if they run into each other, they'll be like, it's stubborn, but it's okay. The other fixed signs stubborn too. And yeah, it just, I don't know, the fixed signs are weird. But honestly, they're, they're, they're pretty chill signs, though. <laughs> like, not gonna lie. But anyways, um, you know, that Leo is stubborn basically because they're in the mode that is all about preserving things. And what is Leo preserving? Their hobbies and their opinions. And, you know, Leo is a self-worth sign along with their square Taurus. You know, Taurus represents self-worth and how, you know, your self-esteem is. Leo is basically, you know, you, because it foundation your personality, the sun. You know, that is all what Leo's about. And even though, like, Leo and Taurus have that in common, Leo has, like, something else in common with Scorpio, obviously. Leo and Scorpio are very driven signs. Leo is a natural-born leader, and Scorpio loves power, so... Honestly, the, those two match up too. It may, like, the fixed signs are weird, but, but they're good weird, okay? They have Aquarius on their side, okay? Aquarius is the last one out of them. But anyways, um, also, uh, let's see what else. Another stereotype is that they're clingy, but honestly, I don't know. They're just very affectionate when it comes to love when it comes you know especially when it's a Leo Venus even though this is more the series is focused on suns dominance and risings uh Leo Venuses they they like to be with their partner okay you know Leo's also a very loyal sign they're the natural born leaders they stick to whatever they have in front of them when it comes to their hobbies and interests. And they're also humble. Be humble. <laughs> um, that is also what they're known for. Being humble, man. Just, just being humble. They, you know, their sister is Aquarius, like I said. Aquarius is the last fixed sign. They have some relevance. You know, with Aquarius on the other side of the coin, Leo is, you know, it, they have that humanitarian side to them, but obviously they're more self-focused because they rule the sun, not Uranus and Saturn. They they don't deal with that cold ass shit. They they deal with the warm ass shit, you know, the sun. But um, seriously, they even though they are more self-focused than Aquarius, they still have that charitable side to them, and they will give to their friends who they are loyal to and chill with 
honestly. If you do prove yourself to be pretty chill to a Leo, they'll be like, hey, you're chill. I am going to help you out sometime. You know, that is, well, you know, Leo for you, basically. Uh, another stereotype, um, they are always confident and sure of themselves 24-7, even though they rule over the sun and they are a self-worth sign in a sense because they rule over the sun, it doesn't mean that their confidence is not faked sometimes, okay? They might seem like they're very happy and bubbly on the outside, but sometimes, you know, they do doubt themselves and sometimes Leos are the ones that do it the most and try to overcompensate by putting on a confidence act. Honestly, you know, Leos, you're 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 a pure sign. You you you're a lit sign, okay? You you're literally fire. Um, but you know, it's it's okay to doubt yourself sometimes. People love you, man. All right, people love you, Leo. I love you, okay. <laughs> yeah, this did this did this totally just did not get creepy. But um <laughs> so Leo isn't always confident and whatnot. And they do doubt themselves sometimes because they have Scorpio in the IC. And also speaking of like self-worth signs and how Taurus also is like a self-worth sign, uh Virgo's on their second. So, you know, that's the Taurus house. So with Virgo being on their second, Virgo's very critical and they're pretty private, but you know, they're most, you know, that their main, you know, stereotype is that they're critical, okay? They're the analytical workaholics of the zodiac. They rule over work, health, and service. You know, this is where your selflessness is, basically. So, you know, they're a Leo self worth, and you know, just taking Leo out of context of each sign, you know, like, you, Obviously not all Leo suns have Leo rising, but you know how a Leo's typical housing system works, Virgo is on the second. Um, if you are Leo rising, you know, you could have, um, you know, the second in Leo or in Libra also. And with um, the IC, you can have it in Libra or uh, Sagittarius. But, you know, speaking of like a typical Leo ascendant, Leo has, you know... Virgo on the Virgo in the second house, so they're critical of their self worth, and they might be a little um, selfless with money and selfless with other people due to that. But they also work hard for money, and they they know they know what's up, okay. And they also have Scorpio on the IC, and um, like we talked about with uh, what was the last time we talked about? Yikes, I don't remember. Um, thank you. I think it was Gem yeah, it was Gemini. With Gemini, obviously, like I said in that video, um, the IC is the most private part of yourself, okay? It is you in private. It is you at home. It is how you like to keep your home, okay? Scorpio's there, all right? This is where water gets a little deep. Obviously, Cancer is weird water because Cancer is not that deep compared to Scorpio and Pisces, okay? Scorpio is when shit really gets, like, you know, it, it starts to go down, okay, hun? Um, they're all about death, rebirth. Uh, changing yourself. They're all about transformation, basically. You know, something ain't working out, we're gonna fix it, all right? They're also known for, you know, psychology and power. They're ruled by Pluto and Mars. And with that being said, on the IC, um, the IC sometimes represents, well, it does represent childhood, so there might have been some turbulence in childhood, and, you know, Leos themselves in private, they try to change themselves most of the time. <laughs> so, yeah, they're, you know, they're like, hey, you know, that training good. Gotta try to make myself into this. And that is what is constantly going on in the, uh, like, you know, to the private side of Leo. Um, with, you know, I just, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, so, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this series. <laughs> um, obviously I am, I ran out of requests, so please comment down below what sign you want me to do next. If you don't have an idea on what sign I should do next, I'll just d do one randomly. N th that sounded wrong. I will make a video of one randomly. That's what I meant to say. Uh, so yeah, um, 
comment down below what, which side, like, you know, what I should do next, and I'll see you all next video. Thank you.